everybody so what I'm going to start doing today is I am going to go through my setup that I have for the Sierras this is the pack I had with me while I was out on the AT with fresh ground and basically what I'm going to do is just unload it so uh, the way I pack it may change a little bit as the time goes so we'll just go through it as I do first thing really to go over through the Sierras I'm probably going to use take the ultras off and use the Solomon I've got a pair of Solomon X ultra here and darn tough socks these are cool i think it's the renegade pants this is just one of those columbia you know long sleeve you can roll it up uh you know, sun shirts or whatever uh <clears throat> so let's get to it on the outside the trusted thermal rest z light this is uh on loan to me from nick nelson we're gonna see if uh this thing will get me through the Appalachian Trail, the Pacific Crest Trail, and if it holds up, it might even get a triple crown on it. So, outside. The Mariposa 60 has a bunch of pockets. I bought the, uh, the outside pocket for water bottles. This pocket here carries two different water bottles. So I've got a smart water bottle and Gatorade. It'll probably turn into another liter smart water bottle by the time I get out there. I just hang a towel off of my uh, left side with a carabiner. Wipe the sweat off my face. That's actually a PBA towel, Police Benevolent Association. All right, so in this pocket here, this I've got my toiletry bag. This is going to tip over. Inside my toiletry bag, basic. I wear contact lenses, so a little bottle of contact lens solution, toothbrush, toothpaste, some dental floss, and that's my contactless solution case. So that's what I have in my little toiletry bag. And also in this pocket, this might end up changing spaces, but tent stakes and the rock bag for bear hang and some paracord is in here. All right, on the other side, I have put my sleeping pad in here. This is the uh, Neo Air X Lite, that's what I'm using, lasting me all the way through the AT, still going strong. So that's good in there. I could even put my cook set on top of that. That's how much room this pocket has. Uh, if I need the room inside the pack, we might do that. Outside front pocket, this is my uh, Z, or Z Packs Vertice rain jacket. Still working like a charm, still my favorite piece of gear. This probably should have gone on the inside, but this is my beanie cap. I guess I just stuffed it in there last time I was using it because it was so cold outside and snowing. Along with gloves. These are just basic, thin, regular gloves. Saw your squeeze system. I've got a CNOC bag in here. This is the actual 2 liter bag, but I have a 3 liter bag that I'll be carrying with me on the uh, PCT. That's the other glove. Breaking my own rule, which is always stick your gloves together when you take them off because it's a lot harder to lose two than it is to lose one so there I am breaking my own rule I'm gonna fix that right now put those two together alright also on the outside of my bag toiletry kit which is empty because it's been used which is wipes trowel and uh, uh, toilet paper rain skirt Z Pax rain skirt, which I didn't have to use this week just because it wasn't that wet out, and pack cover. Okay, so that takes care of all the outside pockets. So let's go inside. Well, wait a second. No, no, no. I forgot. We've got the uh, hip belt pockets. Hip belt pocket. I got headlamp. This is my little repair bag, a little pair of scissors, and some KT tape for blisters, which I haven't gotten any, but you never know. And then, always, body glide. Never go hiking without it. And in here I have some insect repellent, which, uh, you know, I may or may not carry through the Sierras. We'll see, but I have it available to me. Okay, and I don't think I have anything in the other, I don't have anything in the other fit belt pocket. So, let's go to the top. 
in the top. Puffy jacket on top, always easily, readily available, easy to get to. Let's see, stuffed all in the same bag in a trash compactor bag. This is the Nemo Kaya 15 degree mummy bag, which I will be carrying through the Sierras. I'll be trading out my enlightened equipment 20 degree down quilt, which I will be carrying in the first part, which I may do another video on what I'm carrying through the desert. This is the Patagonia R1 hoodie. Uh, this is, oh, this is my sleeping bag liner. So, short sleeve shirt to sleep in, maybe hike in if need to. Over gloves, or over, glo over mittens to keep the gloves dry and also give you a little extra protection in the warmth. A pair of shorts to sleep or hike in. This is my pillow slash uh, dirty clothes bag. Turn it inside out. It's got the soft side on it that uh, you can use that as a pillow. Stuff some clothes in there. That's what I use in my pillow. Z packs also. Extra pair of underwear. Goose down booties. I won't leave home without them if it's going to be cold. Worth their weight in gold. Super light, super packable. Uh, buff. This is the other, which these don't connect together, so I'm going to have to figure out, maybe put some Velcro on them or something to stick them together. That's the other outer glove. Uh, uh, this one is the actual sleeping shirt. The other one was a short sleeve shirt to hike in. One extra pair of darn tough socks. And that does it for that. All right, in the Sierras, you have to carry that monster there which is bear canister. I've got about three days worth of food in there. And let's open her up because inside this, I also have my cook system, which is the titanium ever new pot in here. The pocket rocket, lighter, and fuel all fits in there. So that's my cook system. That's some food. And all I have left in the bottom of this pack by itself is my Z Packs duplex tent, which is packed in here, just stuffed down at the bottom. That's what it ends up being. And what are you doing in here. <laughs> this is great Dane love. You want to say hi to the people? Say hello everybody. <laughs> Alright, go with your mama. Come on. <laughs> Bella, come on. Go. Come. She wants to sit on you. She wants to be part of the yeah, come here. Okay. <laughs> so back to the video. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to say uh, that about does it for my Sierra setup before I was interrupted, but I forgot these are uh, little camp shoes made by Zero, and that's not Zero, Z-E-R-O, that's X-E-R-O. I uh, used to carry or was carrying the Crocs, but I got a pair of these from working at REI. It's a uh, super light. That each one is uh, about two and a half ounces lighter than the Crocs, so it's about five ounces lighter than the Crocs, and they're actually as thin as they are. They're pretty doggone comfortable. So, tried these out, they're working pretty good. I'm just hanging them off the back side, back side of my pack with a carabiner and uh, keeping them out of the way. And other than that, that is my setup for the Sierra. So, I will do another video here soon about what I'm carrying through the desert and then that'll take care of all of my gear stuff. And <clears throat> got a couple of other videos I got planned. I got um, challenged by Ken and Thea to do a luxury challenge, which I'm putting that together right now, luxury item challenge. And then Hadassah and I are going to get together and do a kind of a special video that I don't think anybody else has done, but I'll leave that for later. All right, PT out. Hope everybody's doing great. Mm -hmm.